In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can make a free server for crossplay between Java Edition and Bedrock Edition. The first thing you're going to need to do is go to this link right here, which I will leave in the description. Once you're on this website, you can just click on play. From here, you're going to be brought to a screen where you have to sign up. You can either do this through Google or just through the website itself, which is what I will do. From here, you're going to want to make a username for yourself, and you can read the terms of service and privacy policy if you want, but you are going to have to accept both of them to move on. So yeah, from there, just make a password. You don't necessarily have to put in your email, so I'm just going to skip that for now and click sign up. And once you get to this page, just click create a server. And if you get any ad here, be sure to close it out. Now, as I said, our server will have crossplay between Java and Bedrock, but in this case, we're gonna wanna choose Java Edition just to start off when we create our server here. So yeah, just click create. Once on this page, we're gonna wanna go over to software, go to change. We're gonna wanna click on spigot slash bucket and go to the most recent version of Minecraft, which in my case is 1.19 when I'm recording this and click install. So yeah, once you have a check mark there, you should be good and we can go over to plugins. In this search bar right here, you're gonna wanna type in geyser, which is spelled G-E-Y-S-E-R, and go ahead and click enter. You should see geyser MC right here. You're gonna wanna click on that and this little green install button, you're gonna wanna click that. From there, we can go back to server and click start. So your server may take just a little bit to start up. Uh, for me, it has taken up to five minutes before, maybe even a little bit longer, but sometimes less, it just kind of depends. So yeah, once your server does start, you should see this text right here that says online. So now we can join into Minecraft. Starting off with Bedrock Edition, if you click play, go over to the servers tab and scroll down to add a server. You can put in whatever you want for the server name. And when it comes to the IP, you're gonna wanna click connect right here on this page. And you can see the IP right here. So go ahead and copy that in and paste it. And same thing with the port, put that in the port section. And you should be able to click save and then play. And for Java edition, you just click play, add a server, put in whatever you want for the server name. And this time for the server address, we can just click copy right here on this server address, copy and paste that in, um, and you should be good to go. And as you can see right here, I have my Java Edition self and my Bedrock Edition self in Minecraft at the same time. You can also play on your server on the console Bedrock Editions of Minecraft, which I will leave an info card on how to do that right here. And that's going to do it for this tutorial. Leave a like if this did help you. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.